Seth, thank you so much for doing an Under the Influencer interview with me. I would love for people to know, how did you get started? I started out writing, doing like comedy writing for a card game called What Do You Meme? I was doing that for about six months and being around funny, creative people like that. We, we try things from time to time. We decided to hold a sign out in the street protesting something. And that day, I think it was someone's birthday in the company and everyone was like replying all and like racking up our emails. We're like, oh, let's go protest that. So I, I held a sign up that said, stop replying all to company wide emails. It was a success, like people laughed, people thought it was really funny. So we were like, oh, we could probably keep doing this. I was like, is it, is it cool if I pop out of work and just hold a sign up every day? And they're like, yeah, if you want to do that, that's cool. Like, let's see if this goes somewhere. That's how it started. Because it's you, a cardboard sign, a yeah. giant Sharpie. Yeah. But what you write on the signs is what's captivated yeah. attention. When you did stop replying all to company emails, it blows up. What was your next one? Where did the idea come from? I really just choose kind of just based off whether I can come up with something. I also want to make sure universally people know what it is. Because if it's like just something that's kind of trending on like Twitter America, I realize that I have fans in like Istanbul and like Australia and I want to make sure that it's like fully known before I do it. So like Squid Games, that's like a, a worldwide show right now. Those usually perform the best, whatever's whatever's trending. Do you know when a trend is over? How do you know it's too late, move on? I mean, I'm pretty social media savvy with this job, so I, I can kind of see when things are happening right now and kind of when it's like, eh, I think that's either overdone or not that funny or just kind of in the past, I don't think people are really talking about it anymore. I disagree, Seth. I think <laughs> what you do is not easy. I do think influencers try hard. I do think they, some garner a lot of power. What do you say to those people who have garnered a lot of power and a platform? What is your advice to them on how they proceed with their platform? That's a really hard, that's what I mean. This is a really hard, because I can't really speak on that. I, I just have like a concept that's very fluid and that works for me. I mean, that's. That's advice I give people whenever they just are at nothing and want to start something like, maybe just try a concept, try this concept. And if people love it, run with it, but make it different in your own way. I try to at least spice things up sometimes. Sometimes I'll smile in a picture. Sometimes I'll be in a totally different place. I try to run with a concept and have some kind of, like the glasses and the, you know, there's like a character. I try mm -hmm. to keep it very, Consistent. Very, yeah, consistent. I like hearing that your first idea wasn't gold, that you had to go through some, because I think for young minds out there, it's nice to hear. Mm -hmm. It didn't strike immediately. It took right. some tries. What I disagree with you about is that your concept is simple. I think the cleanest, simple seeming concepts to me are the hardest. Yeah, I think that's actually what I credit myself most on is one, just being open. Another piece of advice I always give is like, I'm, for one, I'm not an advice giver, but something I tell people is like, don't be afraid of looking stupid. I posted probably like 10 signs before, you know, I only had probably like 2000 followers and they were just like my friends. So I was just posting signs and it got weird to a point, like people would walk by and be like, what is this guy doing? Like this is, and I would, it kind of would make me doubt it. Kind of like, oh, it's not that funny. Like. Yeah, after like the 10th one, bigger pages started reposting it and now I'm so happy that I didn't give up Give up and think that that was, you know, just a dumb idea. And, and be vulnerable. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Ride the crest of the wave, vulnerable be uncomfortable. Is vulnerable is great. Okay, if you weren't doing this, what would your fantasy other life be? Whoa, I've actually really always wanted to do acting. I've always wanted to like try being in a movie. I just think that would be so cool to see, at least, at least to try. I also, stand-up comedy was another one that I've always wanted to try, which I've done it a couple times and don't know if that's right for me now. Did you go to like an open was, mic? Yeah, I was really happy to try it and it was very... How was popular. it? I think it went well. I had like girls coming up to me after like, oh, I was like, you were the funniest one. You were my favorite one of the night. And I'd be like, oh my God, thanks. <laughs> but, <laughs> I still don't know. I, I think I'm still trying to, to figure it out. Maybe I become an entrepreneur and make a product. Well, you're certainly starting from an amazing place. Now. Yeah, very lucky, very blessed. <laughs> I am one of your biggest fans in a long <laughs> line of many people. And thank you for these words of wisdom. They are definitely going to connect with people. Mm -hmm. And social media is the wild, wild west 
finding its way and giving so many opportunities to people. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.